make a rotary cutter, but first you have to start with a circle. So I come over here and I grab the ellipse tool and click on it, and then I hold down my shift key because I want to constrain the proportions. And I let go a little earlier, I want it a little bit bigger. And you can see it tells me the width and the height as I drag. I like um, a big thick line on mine, but if you want a smaller line, you can make them smaller either by dragging the bar or you can type in the difference here. But I like 0.1. Now I want to have a second circle to go on the inside. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And you can do that either by using your controls on your keyboard or by coming up under Edit which has the copy and paste. So now I'm gonna make them smaller and I just kind of drag. I could hold down the shift key if I didn't want to have to worry about making things different. So I'll push control Z and show you how much easier it is when I hold down the shift key. Easier, and then I drag it in the middle. Now I'm going to highlight everything by dragging and including it. And then I'm gonna come up to layer and I'm gonna group this. I want my blade and my little bolts to be separate. Now since this is my artboard, I can just leave it here and I'm now I'm going to draw the handle. So the handle is drawn in two parts. First you start with a rectangle and I don't want any stroke on this so I'm going to turn it off by clicking on this no line style. So I have that and let's make this a, a yellow. Why not? But our, our uh, Handles aren't rectangles, they have a rounded end. So again, I'm going to put my circle key here and I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to draw a circle that I know will fit on the end of the handle. And I can always drag it if it doesn't. So I just drew that circle and if I click on these, you can see the two different parts. And here's the magic. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing, which you can see happening here. And I come all the way up to this little sign here, which is a plus. So I click on that, and now it's all one. It's all one thing. So we know that underneath our circles um, are a plastic guide. So we want to make that. So I come back over to the ellipse tool, and it's still yellow. And so I'm going to um, hold my shift key and make a circle which I think is going to be as big as my blade. And I can drag it over the top of the blade and it's pretty good. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to try and always have this section here inside my circle. So I'm just, I touch it and it puts the handles around it and I can drag it. And I'm going to make it a little closer. And I can also use the arrow right and arrow left keys to drag it and move it you know, in increments if I want to. So I'm gonna get this guy out of the way because I don't want to include it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and draw a corral around it. I'm gonna come back up to this little add sign here. I'm gonna click it and add it. But my handle doesn't look like that and I'm pretty sure yours doesn't. We don't have this hard edge. So I need to smooth it out. So I come over here and grab, oh, let's grab the crescent tool. And let's just draw a crescent shape. And that looks like about right. I'm just guessing here. I can take my little handle at the top and I can turn it so it'll fit on here. And let's see if it does. I go back over to grab the arrow and I'm going to drag it down into here into shape. And I don't quite like where it is. So I'm going to kind of move it and come up here and just so I want it to touch this end here, but I want it to touch this end here. So I'm going to move it a little bit more and sometimes just like that. So now look at it. Oh, would you look at that? That is great. So I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to come up here to edit and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. And I do all this, and you, you notice there's also a duplicate down there, but I just want to show you this one. So now I've got two of them here, right? You can still see where that one's there. But this one I know if I could just get it to reverse, it might be in the same place. So I'm going to come up here to this little thing. Let's flip vertical. And look at that. It's going to do it for me. I'm going to just 
drag it up into place. And let's see. Pretty good. I'm happy with it. It'll do for me. So now I, you can see all the little parts and the pieces. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to come up and merge everything. And now I'm going to drag my circles, which are in place. And they are behind. But I can come up here. See this orange little thing? It says bring it forward. And there it is. But well, I'm missing this kind of handily thing here. Well, just make it simple when you do drawings. You don't have to get too elaborate. So how about this for a handle? But I know that my handles are black. So I'm going to come up here, and usually this is the default. So I'll come back over, grab that. I know I'm moving quickly, but this is the video. So you can come back in. Now it's on top. I don't want it on top. I want it underneath this rolly thing. So I'm going to come up here where it says move to back. That's too far. So now I'm going to come here where it says move to front. It's too much. So I'm going to come grab this and say put that as the Supremo on top. And look at that, I have a rotary cutter.